Okay, so today we got a new toy. Well, we got it a while ago. We got it a while yeah. ago, a few months ago. It's bright red, and so you can't lose it. Even but, if it, like, it's too big to fall between the cracks in the couch. I don't yeah. know about that. Mm-hmm. And even if it did, you'd see it. <laughs> okay. Just shine a black light on your phone. <laughs> but anyway, it's the uh, it's a new toy from IFI, and it, this thing's good for five about five watts max. It's a 32 ohm. 32 ohms. That's a lot of power for something you hold in your hand. A lot of power. And you know what? Given the amount of gain, listening to it, given the amount of gain in like turbo mode, it's too much power. <laughs> it's a lot of power. Now, most people don't need this much, but this is a, a really cool, a really cool toy if you got like demanding planers or something and you want to go portable. Yep. Certainly, one of its big party tricks is simply its power output, and it is really significant. Yeah. On turbo, this thing is too much. It's surprising. Even with 1266 Ardiana, it's a lot. It's got of a power. lot of gain. I mean, yeah. you really like you're barely cracking the volume control. So, right. yep. and we should say by turbo mode, it actually has three gain settings. The turbo's the highest, and we'll go over that. You want to go over the settings with it? It kind of requires gain settings because yeah, for yeah. most things, you even a Diana, we didn't need turbo. No, I just use normal. But yeah, it's got eco is the lowest. Yeah, and uh, pretty much like on a Diana, it was just like you'd have the volume all the way up, right? But then normal, plenty. It's like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, plenty yeah, of power. Kind and of a normal amp. Turbo is just like, you just, just crack into it a little bit, and that's fine. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it gets a bit loud in yeah. turbo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Which is surprising. I mean, all this time we've been doing head- Complaining a bit yeah, about but, not having portable power. Yeah, having all these demanding headphones. <laughs> it's just like the most I think we've ever seen in terms of, of gain. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess it would be really good, too, if you had a high impedance design headphone, like a 300 right. ohm or something like that. 600. Yeah, voltage out would have would be no issue with this thing. It's got a lot of power, you know? good voltage. So unless you're driving like four HE6s at the same time, I don't think you'll have trouble. <laughs> yeah, but no issues with any headphones. Now, in terms of sound quality, for what it is, it's great. I mean, it, it sounds exactly what you'd expect of a $1,000 portable amp that's doing yep. five watts. Mm-hmm. And it sounds good for that price point totally. Oh, for sure. Yeah. You know, works, works great. Clean. Some, I know some people have been talking about it. it's been out for a little while, so some guys are saying, well, you know, it's not my cup of tea type thing. I said, well, it depends where you're coming from. I mean, you know, if you're sitting at home running a, you know, a tube amp, you know, a ten fifty thousand dollars tube amp, okay, this isn't that. Mm. It's not that, sorry. But in terms of solid state, um, for a portable. And all in one with a DAC and everything. That's true. It's even got a DAC built in. Yeah. And it's got a ton of features, too. I mean, we're not going to go over all this because it's not what we do. But if you check out IFI's website, they show... They show all the propaganda on this thing. <laughs> you know, it does MQA natively. It's full balanced through. Uh, what else? This will not take an analog input. No analog inputs. Yeah. So it starts out with a SPDIF input, and it has the adapter to go to a full-size um, optical cable in the box. Um, balanced Pentacon output, so if you want to just use it as a DAC, um, and then a USB Type-C power to charge it or power it off the wall if you wanted to. And then uh, US full-size USB uh, input for digital input. All right, so this thing will only take a full-size USB input. So I guess it's made yep. to work like natively. You can just come right out the uh, yeah, camera, comes, camera it adapter. Comes the, it comes with a cable to do it. Oh, to, a, to an cable. iPhone? No. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Just oh. the USB cable. I see. Yeah, yeah, I yeah it comes with a USB extension, I believe. But it has a USB full-size type A port. Yeah because it's made to have the camera connect kit slide into that and you could have the little dongle that Apple sells plug into your iOS device. So if you had an iPhone and this would be real simple hookup. Yeah, yeah. Rubber right. band them together, your G2G. Yep. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I tried it. It works. Yeah. It's a it, little short, but. Yeah. So that, that goes right in line with being able to use uh, Apple Music right into this mm-hmm. with up to five watts in the headphone. Yeah, for portable, it's Carrying quite around. good fidelity. And the for thing's sure. not heavy either. It's fairly, I mean, for what it is, it looks. It, it's it, big, but it's not that it heavy. It looks it's heavier than it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not bad. But no, I mean, overall, nice design. Nice design. You know, some people complain about the red color. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I don't know, I guess because everyone's used to black. We get the same thing with colored yep. headphones, too. Yeah. It's like, oh, I want black. But well, it is pretty vibrant. Yeah. It's bright. I think it's cool. But looking at that, like you said, someone will probably do a wrap for this if they don't already. All right. Wouldn't be, doubt it. I'd like to do a carbon fiber wrap myself mm. on it. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, thank you, IFI, for coming out with something that uh, has enough balls to cover just about every everything that I could think of. In no a, in trouble with design. power. 
Yeah. But so. the one downside there is if you have a sensitive product, obviously this isn't a choice for you. Yeah, I wouldn't go with a sensitive IM on this one. No, this has a ton of power. Which goes for all amplifiers. It. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. You don't buy 5-watt amplifiers for a flea watt need. Not a good idea. 15 milliwatts? Yeah, you just don't want to go that way. Yeah, It's never going to work. Yeah, even on Eco, it's probably a bit too much. Yeah. I mean, and I don't think people will be going for this anyway if you're running a high sensitivity IM. You already... You've already learned your limitations with that one. You, you kind of know you got. It's kind of like the same thing on the opposite extreme, right? There's only so many choices in the real high power solution. Yep. Right. And when it comes to really low power, low noise, there's only so many choices too. You know. So when you're at it, when you're at extreme like that of need in terms of application, it's just the way it works. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is definitely for full size, more or less flagship headphones. Yeah. But for that, wow, it, it's great. Yeah. Knocks out of the park for portable yeah. use. It's the only one that we know of that's like that. You know, I mean. The next closest thing is we've got the Broadway Balanced that does about a watt and a half full Class A uh, into 40, I think it's, I don't know, 32 ohms. Yep. So, yeah, so, I mean, that's the next closest thing that'll run, actually run battery, even though it's like a semi-desktop. Yeah, it's significantly bigger. Yeah, way bigger. No it's more like, a, more like yeah. a smaller desktop solution, yeah. yeah. It doesn't have the power of this, no. but it does have a little bit more pleasant sonic character. Yeah, it's, you know, w- it's, it's more of a refined sound. This is good. I would say the Broadway is a little closer to excellent. Yeah. So right. it depends on what you're looking for. But if you need a DAC, you need portability, this is really great. And for the price point, it's hard to compete. Yeah, I'm not aware of anything else that has that. I don't think there's anything in the world that has this much power. So if that's what you're after. Yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah well, actually, this went the other way. It's like, oh, don't even use it. Normally, you're just like, well, put it to the max. It's like, yeah, don't even bother with this. Just put yeah. it on normal. So yeah, it's one of the very few products that is battery powered, and you don't need to have it anywhere near its limits. Yeah, the gain of this exceeds. It's got a ton. The needs of most people. Yep. Yeah. So, so yeah, maybe we'll maybe we'll have to make like a killer headphone just to work with this thing. You know, that, mm. that needs like a, a, what would you call it? A truckload or a dump truck full? Dump truck. Dump truck full. Definitely. Power. Yeah. <laughs> the least make sensitive it, make headphone it ever made. Less sensitive on purpose. Yeah, even worse. Yeah, yeah just horrible. Just, yeah, yeah. Specifically full volume designed. on turbo mode. Just just about yeah. doesn't. Mm. <laughs> Throw some heat off in the winter, you know. There you go. That's yeah, I wonder what the battery one time is. Battery life would be bad. Yeah, that's <laughs> full nice. volume, five watts. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what the size battery. Probably about in there. two hours. <laughs> probably no, probably like forty-five minutes. <laughs> That'd be a lot of power. Times two. That's ten watts of power coming out of the thing in uh, stereo. Yeah, you're right. Probably wouldn't run that long. Maybe half hour. I don't think. Any, I don't, I don't, don't think anyone runs full power in your ears for uh, any amount of time. Well, you couldn't. Be, yeah, you couldn't yeah, run ten watts. That's some serious music. Yeah. You have to be throwing out some beats, man, to be able to do You're talking 20 hertz, which reminds me, that thing's DC coupled, too. Mm. So I bet it's really good in the bass response, too, which is nice to see. And usually at portables, you don't see DC couple. Almost never. I don't think you ever do see that. So that really helps with, uh, uh, with the bottom end. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, there it is. The IFI Ideas DVI. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And uh, we'll let you know anytime we get new toys in to play with. Take care.